Hi everyone, today we're going to check out vMix Core Beta. It's uh, not quite ready for uh, production, but it's actually the new beta part of vMix Core. And they've added some new features. Now, in this little test that I'm going to set up, I'm going to try vMix Core Beta on a Mac running the Google Chrome browser. So let's head on over to the Mac and we'll get it all set up. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head on to the website you can see uh, there, which is vmix call, and you've got the word beta.vmixcall.com. You can see that just up top there. You want to have uh, beta.vmixcall.com as your browser address. Right, so we're going to log into that now, pre-fill out some of those details. Now I'm screen sharing my Mac at the moment with you guys, so that's why you can see it dropping into infinity. Um, and I'll show you guys in a sec what the actual vMix call looks like um, from the vMix platform itself. But before we do, I just wanted to run through the settings that you now get with the new beta. And it's the only way to show you this is to actually screen share. So there's a little application bar down the bottom here. You can see it there. It's a bit hard to see because all that stuff's in infinity is disappearing into infinity. But that is fine, that is fine. Um, the new thing that they've added is this new toggle screen sharing. So we're gonna check that out in just one second. But before we do, I thought I'd show you this new open settings pop-up they've got here, which is really, really cool. And you can actually now click on camera and select if you've got multiple cameras on your computer. Uh, you can change what type of audio interface is providing the microphone. And there's a couple of other extra features, echo cancellation, auto gain, and force stereo. Now, obviously, if you do change any of those settings, you do have to reconnect. So that's the reconnect button is right there, which makes it really, really handy. So there's that. All right, let's, without further ado, let's go have a look what the vMix call looks like to me. So there I am. There's the other camera over there and that's coming back in via through vmix call right so um, back to the screen sharing let's share my desktop now you click on the toggle screen sharing and you get three options across the top you can share your entire screen so let's show that one first click share now this is actually just going to be sharing my entire uh, desktop with the person at the other end. So if I minimize, if I maximize, everything's going to be as if they're seeing my entire desktop. Okay, and when you finish, you can click on the stop sharing icon here. Or you can click on the toggle screen sharing and it'll take you back to the camera. Okay. When you've finished actually sharing your desktop, let's sort of go back to the application windows. If you click on stop sharing, um, then you won't be able to see um, any of the desktop. It completely blanks it out. So you can see my camera's not working now until I actually enable my camera again. All right. So another thing that I've noticed too is if you want to actually um, change what you're sharing. So you hit all those three options. You could either ch share your entire desktop, you could share an application window, or you could share a tab in Google Chrome. You can't actually do that, well, not in the beta anyway, maybe in another fu a future version or an update to this, you might be able to. So if you do want to change what you're sharing, you will then have to actually um, reconnect your call. Now, it's not hard to reconnect. It doesn't take long. So let's just click reconnect. And we go into settings and just click reconnect and that will bring us back into the call now as a result of that i can then go back into toggle screen sharing and that pop-up shows again this time i want to show you the um chrome tab i think this one's handy so i've got a i've got youtube my channel on youtube there i want to click share now let's show you guys what that looks like and just you'll notice that it doesn't show the entire see that's my entire screen there with all the tabs and the title bar and everything but if I'm showing just the the Chrome browser all they are seeing at the other end is this 
They're only seeing, and I can see my mouse moving around and stuff like that, that's fine. Um, you know, I can um, maximize videos, things like that. So they can see what I'm doing uh, to a degree, to a degree, um, but they're not actually seeing the entire screen. So it's a bit more sort of controlled and that might actually be a nice way to show a website or something like that. Now when you're finished sharing that, if you click stop there, I want to show you something. See, I can, this is just my shared screen, not through Google, vMix Cool. This is my shared screen so you can see what I'm doing. If I go back to vMix Cool, notice that I'm moving my mouse and you can't see it, but I'm moving my mouse here and you can. can. So it actually kind of freezes the screen until you go back. You can go back to your call, right? Notice how they're still not seeing me doing anything yet. And then I can go down here and then I can toggle back to my camera and then you can see my camera is now working. So that's actually quite a nice private way of you going back and enabling those features. It's like it kind of blanks the screen or freezes the screen. So that's pretty cool. Now it does that when you stop sharing on, on your entire desktop as well as an application window as well. And that's a good segue for the next one, application window sharing. So let's check that one out. Now we're gonna have to do the same deal again, reconnect, because uh, I don't envisage you guys be wanting to do this sort of level but let's check out Ableton Live and we'll share that and we'll just show you guys what that sees. So you notice that all it does is it shows the top of the application, okay? Now I'm moving that application around in, I'll show you, I'm actually moving that around like that. It only shows that application window. Notice that when you have the application window shared, if, I, if I'm doing a drop down menu, that actually isn't shown in the application window sharing. Okay, that's another thing to notice. And when you finish, you just click stop sharing, right? And you'll notice that it freezes that window and it waits for me to go back and toggle back to my camera and then you can see it again. So there you go. That is, um, a very, very quick run through of vMix Call, the new beta. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be in production soon. I can't really see any major errors with it, but uh, let us know in the comments if you think that's cool. We're gonna be checking that out this Saturday, so um, hopefully there's no major hiccups with the vMix Call for the people calling through. Anyway, we'll catch you on Saturday. Thanks for watching.